2013 Ford Explorer. I'm gonna do a transmission. Thanks for watching. Got 113, 315s. And while you got your 13 out, take the starter bolts off. I put a mark on my starter bolts. I just kind of let the starter hang out in here. Cause you gotta get to those bell housing bolts. Be careful putting that bell housing bolt in so you don't drop it in that starter hole. shifter plate. I'm going after my last bell housing bolt with this 13 millimeter gear wrench. Short. Alright, getting a longer one. Alright, I got it. Alright, you just loosen the two line retaining nuts on the front of the pan and those lines will slide up off of there. All the top stuff is done. I left that one mount bolt in. So once I get the subframe out, I can take that bolt out. And the transmission will be hanging. Those are the parts I took off the top. Marked my shifter bracket. Battery hold down. Three 13 millimeter bell housing bolts. The battery. It's got a full subframe, so that means it needs to be removed. There's a transfer case. They're notorious for going bad. I'm probably gonna have to take that cat off. Axle nut. Front lower control arm bushing the nuts. 21. Couple 15s. 15 and the 18 to hold it. Definitely the easiest way to blow the front end apart. Look at that. Boom. Same thing on the other side. 
So we're gonna have to unbolt the sway bar from the subframe and the rack. And then secure the rack to the spray. Play bar bowl. That's a 13 for the manifold. One. You ever take a bolt out and just feel like you just got away with one? Right. Six nuts. Three of them came out with the studs. bracket. Five bolts. I had to remove a bolt from the axle bracket and loosen one.
love when shit just goes smoothly. All right, now we're down to some bell housing bolts and uh, torque converter. Yeah, that's important. Subframe bolts, lower control arm, bell housing, transfer case, this thing, drive shaft, exhaust, motor mount, torque converter. Pull my rack back. I heard a popping when I was going together, Dave. Whoa. Yeah, I didn't like the noise, man. Well, the converter's moving. That's a good sign. That's real good. I don't know. Maybe it just started popping it together, but... Five T case bolts. Three from this side, two from the other. One on this side is right up in there. But you can't see. Start them all before you tighten any down. Five bolts for this bracket. Three in the motor, two in the T case. Snug them all before you tighten any. Yeah. 
Careful putting that bell housing bolt in so you don't drop it in that starter hole. Just the bracket goes like that.
got five in it right now. You can start it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support my channel. I appreciate it.